Prime Minister and Chairman of the Board of Governors of the Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, has made it his priority to find solutions to the issues affecting youth development and creating an enabling environment that equips tomorrow's leaders with the tools to succeed today. Our young people are the primary agents of change and a key to reform and to build our region. They possess unmatched levels of innovation and creativity, and in them, we can find the solution to some of our developmental challenges and emerging opportunities. In St. Lucia, my government is committed to investing in our future for the creation of a youth economy, which we believe will propel the sustainable development of our country. We hope to convert hobbies into entrepreneurship and skills into business. In so doing, we are focused on youth entrepreneurship and business growth for the establishment of an agile, specialized agency, the Youth Economy Agency, or YE, for the provision of financial and technical assistance. Our aim is to harness and channel the untapped innovation and creativity and to foster the emergence of a truly transformational youth economy. It's my desire to see this and similar approaches take root across the region. On August 16th, Honorable Pierre, together with CDB President Dr. Hygienus Jean Leo, officially launched the 53rd annual meeting and the official commencement of his tenure as Chair of the Board of Governors. The focus of the launch remained squarely on advancing youth development and implementing policy designed to improve access to adequate and affordable financing for residents of borrowing member countries. While 60% of the region's population is under the age of 30, by virtue of this demographic and in recognition of youth's continued contribution to national development, it is imperative that our economic and social structures reflect this reality. Access to services is a key principle articulated in the St. Lucia National Youth Policy. This policy recognizes the need to provide equitable access to resources and services required to fulfill the physical, economic, social needs of young people. Considering the relatively unsatisfactory levels of youth economic participation presented by indicators of youth unemployment, registered youth businesses, and adolescent poverty, we argue that the issue isn't merely a deficiency of programs, but the inability of our system to sufficiently empower youth and enhance the coordination of existing services for increased access. The theme for the 53rd annual meeting, Marshalling Finance for Development. The CDB has challenged borrowing member countries to provide improved access to adequate and affordable financing. Dr. Jean Leo expressed the view that young people are the primary agents of change and remedying development impediments can bring about positive youth development in St. Lucia and the region. And we are moving from the young future leaders to the current leaders. Because you are youth today, trust me, in five years' time, you will probably no longer be called youth. But does that mean your work is any different or less? No. So let, let's think of the future leaders. And so once we put it in that mindset, it is not about you. It is about the future of the country. It is about the future of the region. It's about the future of the world. With the establishment of the Prime Minister's youth economy, the government has signaled to the island's youth their needs will influence the policies that will guide their progression towards tomorrow's leadership roles. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore. <laughs>